Canadian musician and visual artist Claire Boucher sold $6 million worth of digital artwork. A total of 10 artworks were put up for auction and a video called Death of the Old fetched the highest price at $389,000. Further, seven red copies of two short videos, Earth and Mars, were sold for a total of $5.18 million. Interestingly, all the pieces were sold as non-fungible tokens. NFTs have gained massive popularity in recent times, especially in the digital art and game space. For 13 and a half years, every single day, Beeple's digital artist Mike Winkleman posted a new work of art online. Titled Every Day the First 5000 Days is a unique digital art authenticated with a unique non-fungible token or NFT. All this digital art is put together as a collage that sold for over $69 million at a recent Christie's auction. Weird, strange and stunning art attracting high prices is not, nothing new, but Beeple has delivered a first of its kind art. And today, NFTs are not just restricted to the art world. Earlier this week, Twitter CEO also boarded the NFT bandwagon as he auctioned his first tweet from 2006. The bids to this tweet have already reached $2.5 million and the auction will take place on 21st of March. So what are NFTs and how are they making digital artists millionaires? In order to understand NFTs, we need to understand what fungibility is in the first place. A fungible asset can be replaced with another identical asset, like currency or banknotes being the most commonly cited example. A non-fungible asset, on the other hand, is a unique, distinguishable asset that cannot be replaced in any form. An NFT is a unique cryptographically generated token that uses blockchain technology to link with a unique asset. They represent tangible and intangible items such as art, sport cards and even virtual real estate. No two NFTs are the same and are easily ver- verifiable. Each NFT includes specific information such as the buyer's name, date of the event and the venue. So. Via NFTs Why are NFTs getting so popular? Well, to start with, they are indivisible, meaning that NFTs cannot be divided into smaller denomination, as in the case of Bitcoins. Also, since the NFT data is stored on blockchain, the tokens cannot be destroyed, removed or replicated. Being on the blockchain, allows easy tracing of the original owner and eliminates the need for third-party verification. Well, the NFTs derive their value from the fact that they are scarce. Although NFT developers can create any number of NFTs, they are purposefully limited to add value. Now, in 2017, CryptoKitties, a popular leisure game, became the first mainstream usage of NFT, allowing users to collect, purchase, sell and breed virtual cats. So, is that a boon or a bubble? Creators on the internet, especially those who make digital art, have always struggled with copyright and plagiarisms of their work. On the one hand, most social media platforms automatically approve the right to use media uploaded to them. And on the other hand, it just takes a few clicks of mouse button to make a copy of the media for private consumption, without even compensating to the creator. NFT solves this problem by acting as a virtual certificate of authenticity that essentially ties the original digital artwork with the token, thereby providing it with the same status as an artist's signature would do to any physical work. And because the token exists on blockchain, it can be instantly verified verified by anyone on a public network. So what is the future of NFT? While it is indeed true that much of the value in non-fungible tokens is generated by speculative value, the biggest cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Dogecoin started the same way, and two of them have now become global mediums of exchange. If demands continue to rise in the NFT market, it will value new investors since it is primarily a reflexive market. So keep your eyes open for NFTs.